Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I wanted to have a quick look at the last of the Runefest reveals and that is the new Song of the Elves questline. Now compared to the other Runefest reveals, this one was fleshed out the least. There's the least amount of information on it so far. However, they did say they wanted to release more in the near future. So the quest, the Song of the Elves, is a conclusion to the Ardun quest lines. It starts with the Plague City quest where the player discovers the whole west side of Ardun. Then it moves on to Biohazard. You then undertake the task of freeing the passage of the Elven Lands with the goal of facing King Tyrus in the Underground Pass. In Regicide, you make your way back through the pass into the Elven Lands and assassinate King Tyrus. In Morning's End Part 1, you gain access to Letia, the Rebel Elves' hideout, and meet with Ariawin. And then finally, in the Morning's End Part 2, you travel to the Temple of Light. Now it is finally time to unlock the new hidden elven city of Prifdinis. So this has been an empty spot on the map for ages. It's been visible, but there's no way to access it and there's nothing there. It was first added 14 years ago. So finally, we're going to see some resolution here and see what the map is actually going to look like. So they're only going to be detailing two things within the blog, but they said that there's going to be a lot more in the elven city, but they just haven't released the information yet. So to start off here, we have the Gauntlet. The Gauntlet is a brand new challenge requiring players to start from scratch with no weapons or armor. So it kind of sounds a little bit like Last Man Standing, except you're going to be fighting waves of crystal monsters. You're going to collect resources, weapons, and armors as you go. The pressure will be on you to find time to gather equipment and engage in combat. There's going to be an all new boss to face that will be expected to be one of the toughest old school RuneScape boss in existence. Now is that going to be like the Inferno level of hard, or is it just going to be hard for a RuneScape boss? And next up here is going to be the release of a new skilling boss. It's going to be similar to a Winter Tot, so it's going to be what people have been calling Mining Tot for quite a while. So it's too powerful for normal weapons, so you have to use multiple skills with a focus on mining to create explosives which damage the boss. Unlike Winter Tot, expect this boss to deal damage to you directly, rather than just through the environment. For successfully defeating the boss, expect to be awarded with mining resources and a shot at brand new unique items. The focus on this is going to be on item rewards rather than experience. So interesting, there's been a lot of people going for max or 200 mil mining who have been leaving mining until the end just because they are hoping that the, re the release of Mining Tot, they would be getting better experience rates or at least more meta experience rates and that seems like it's not going to be the case. And last up here we have Crystal Armor, which is going to kind of complete the full Crystal set. There are quite a few Crystal weapons, but there are no Crystal Armor so far. I think it looks kind of cool, although I think someone mentioned on Reddit that the helmet kind of makes it look like you have a plastic bag on your head, which I would kind of agree with maybe. So when you complete the Song of the Elves, it'll grant access to the Crystal Armor set. The new set is expected to roughly match the stats of the existing Crystal Shield and be similar in strength to Barrow's. So this is just a quick overview. It seems like they are intending on releasing more content, more dev blogs for the Song of the Elves questline later this year. And they're asking for feedback, of course. Now, the last thing we got here was a map. And we can kind of draw a little bit of information from the map itself, assuming this isn't just like totally random. So to start here, there is this giant hub in the middle here, which either could just be the city or it looks like it has some dungeon entrances, so this could be the entrance to the gauntlet potentially, or even the skilling boss. There seems to be a few different dungeon entrances throughout the city, so this could be a completely different dungeon. Maybe it's for Slayer, or it has monsters, or maybe it's just different accesses to the gauntlet, or something else entirely. We have a POH portal room, so you should be able to teleport here with a home teleport. That is pretty convenient, because without a regular teleport here, it's going to be a pain to get to. It looks like there's a new place to brew ales and beers. There's only two of these in the game currently. One is in Keldegrim, and one is in Port Phasmatis. So this would make three, so for those who are really into brewing ales or beer, you're in luck. There's a third place to do so. Some more unique shops here, a dye shop or a staff shop. And it looks like there's also a farming patch by itself which could be potentially a spirit tree or maybe some brand new patch or something like that, or maybe it's just related to the quest. And it also looks like there is more of an allotment style patch, which again, could be quest related or maybe it is just an allotment patch. However, adding in patches here on top of the farming guild, man, we're just getting so many patches. I don't know about that. Hopefully it's more unique than that. This mining area down here also is very close to a bank. So assuming that these resources are somewhat higher level, that would be a pretty convenient mining spot, especially with this agility shortcut that's like a few steps away from the bank. Not to mention that there are a few icons that I don't even recall seeing anywhere else. Like if you look at the very far left icon that you can see, it kind of looks like a gold nugget. 
or something like that. I don't remember ever seeing that one. So maybe if you guys know what it is, leave a comment down below. And also the top right icon, it kind of looks like an alien eye with some weird hair on it or something like that. Anyway, I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's pretty much all we have in the dev blog so far. So I'm really excited for this new quest line. It sounds very exciting. I will just need to finish up Morning Ends Part 2, and then we'll be all ready to do this. I like the skilling boss. I feel like there are too few ways to train skills in RuneScape that are actually going to be entertaining. So I think this is a good way to go. I'm not really sure about the gauntlet. I feel like we have so many things like this now that is it really necessary to have another Last Man Standing or another Inferno at this point? I don't know. That's probably more of a personal opinion, but I would prefer to see skilling made more fun than more PVM stuff. And not to mention that there are more uniques here as well, so we're just getting a ton of new uniques with this RuneFest update, which I'm a little bit afraid of. Like, there are almost 10 new uniques with the Kebos Lowlands, there's going to be a few here. Maybe they won't be game-changing at all, but we'll have to see. Anyway guys, what do you think of the new quest, The Song of the Elves? I'm pretty excited for it. It should be coming out sometime later this year. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.